Let's talk about the two film theory and now let's focus into the film film interaction. Remember we're talking about mass transfer in a operation of absorption. Even though you can apply this in any kind of interaction in which there is a soluble material going from gas to liquid or liquid to gas phase, but the important part right here is that gas and liquid will not mix between each other. Consider the interface between the gas phase and the liquid phase. So if you want to compare this, well, clearly the red one is the gas phase and the blue one is the liquid phase. But you're going to have a point in which both interact. And this is the interface. And it can represent any point in the gas absorption equipment. No, it doesn't necessarily have to be the top, bottom, walls, plates, and so on. Whatever you have a point interaction, you can assume so. And this is the beauty of this theory, that you don't need to be modeling uh, individual equipments. You can assume this for the whole absorption unit. And the analysis goes as follows. The diffusion of solute of A, in this case ammonia, from the gas phase, let's assume that the gas phase is gas, air, into the liquid phase, which once again will be water. So check at this. The bulk gas phase will have a composition of ammonia in that gas and then as it achieves or gets near the inter interface you should expect a drop in composition because the ammonia is clearly going decreasing as it in interacts with the interface and then it goes to the liquid phase no longer can be used y we gotta change it to either x or c so x for molar composition of ammonia in the interface and it keeps dropping as it goes to the bulk phase. The important parts I want to show you here are the assumptions and in this specific case I will recommend you to uh, try to memorize it or understand them because this theory is going to be used extensively so why not just ensure that you know when is it valid. Number one, steady state, I mean that concentrations at any position in the tower do not change with time. And for me, it's very important, guys, to ensure that you actually understand what does this mean. Because many times I get, of course, there's going to be a change of concentration. That's the point of the operation. And yes, that's kind of true. But what I mean is that if you were to calculate the concentration or the partial pressure of ammonia, on the top, the partial pressure of ammonia in the bottom and in the middle, they will say, I don't know, let me use one, two, and three, uh, let's say atmospheres for the sake of this uh, ex example. This was a time, I don't know, one hour. And then time passes by and I go and check it out at three hours later. If I were to calculate, well, to measure these points, I should still get three atmospheres, two atmospheres, and one atmosphere, meaning that the points or the point values do not change. Of course, I know that if you were to account for a single molecule of ammonia going downwards, well, technically going upwards, no, yeah, downwards because it's getting diluted in the liquid. Of course, I know that with respect to time to that unit, or to that molecule will be a change of composition, but I'm talking about positions, okay? And if that is true, there is no pressure drop as time passes by and there is no change in temperatures as time passes by and there is no change in concentrations and flow rates, then I can assume steady state. Sharp boundary, and that's an interesting one. The interface between the gas phase and the liquid phase must be, well, a, in a interface. So laminar implies that the film exists at the interface on both sides of the interface. So we have the interface and we have the gas side and the liquid side, meaning this, yeah, this will be one, the gas side and the liquid side. The equilibrium at the interface, that's very important. As you can imagine, in the very theoretical case of the interface, we should assume that there is equilibrium. There is neglig uh, negligible resistance to mass transfer across the interface, meaning that X I, Y, I, technically speaking, are related with respect to equilibrium. And of course, no chemical reaction, even though we will see that there are certain cases in which we do have chemical reaction. 
But this means that the rate of diffusion across the gas phase film must be equal than the rate of diffusion across the liquid phase film. If we have chemical reaction within the interface, of course, you're going to expect different numbers. But for now, let's assume we're going to work with no chemical reaction. Thank you.